Overwhelm can really affect introverts, empaths, and highly sensitive people. And if you're here watching this video, there's a good chance you don't need me to tell you that. But one thing I've noticed a lot lately in conversations that I've been having on social media, online, is that we can sometimes use that overwhelm, our sensitive nervous systems, as a way to not do something we really want to. So today, let's distinguish between when we need to kind of hermit down and take care of ourselves and what we can do to sort of not let external circumstances affect our personal well-being so much. Hi and welcome to Sensitive View. I'm Catherine McKenzie Smith and I'm by no means an expert when it comes to overwhelm. In fact, I've probably only started to understand in the past year or so my own nervous system and how leading up till now so many external circumstances have affected my emotions, my mood, my energy and my overall well-being. So I wanted to share with you a few little things that I've kind of come to understand and things that I've been doing to really start to take back power on my own energy, my own nervous system, and not let external circumstances take over my life so much. I'm not gonna lie, the past couple of years have been pretty full on in my life. I took a step back from my business to help my partner open some fitness studios. And the roles that we kind of took on to be able to facilitate that meant that we were working 50, 60 hours a week and it was just a totally different challenge from anything that we've ever done before. What I really learned in this time was actually how much external circumstances affect me personally, my nervous system, my energy, my emotions, and just my overall well-being. And so in order to kind of come out the other side of that, I needed to really take control of how I was letting external circumstances affect me. I always want to be really real about this stuff and it's always really important to remember that we all handle things completely differently. We all have different challenges going on in our lives. We all have different past experiences, different biological makeup and different ways of dealing with stress, trauma and things in our bodies. And so if it, things are feeling really heavy for you right now, I highly recommend that you get support from somebody who's a trained professional. But I just want to share a few things that really worked for me and really helped me. By all means, try them out. And if they don't work, please make sure that you seek external support. Working on my nervous system has been a game changer for me. And whilst it has involved quite a big emotional upheaval at times, that with a support of energy work has been really helpful for me. It might look totally different for you and that's absolutely okay. I just say, don't stop looking until you find the thing that works for you. What I do these days, now that I have an energetic and a nervous system kind of support, is that I really just pay attention to what's going on for me. Because we have highly sensitive nervous systems, what this can mean is not only that we've stored old emotions in our bodies that mean that at any moment something can trigger a memory or an emotion that we've had that we've never properly dealt with and it can remind us, oh, you're in danger here and activate our fight, flight or freeze response. And so what I've learned to do is to actually stop when that happens and kind of curiously explore, pay attention to what's really going on in that moment. Oftentimes it's actually reminded me and my body of something that's happened in the past. And sometimes those similar memories can kind of just activate a reaction response that is sort of saying, hey, this could end up being like that situation before. So what I've learned to do is really notice what's going on in my body. This can look like any kind of physiological response that any of us have to stress. It can be a quickening heart rate. It can be that sick feeling in your stomach. It can be kind of when your brain can't focus or really um, think of anything else, you just kind of go into tunnel vision. Whatever it is, you don't actually realize that it's happening at the time until kind of afterwards. And so as I've been practicing this more and I highly recommend to just start paying attention to those cues, I've started to see when that happens and be able to take a step back and really just be in my body. Let that stuff happen, tell the nervous system, tell our brains that it's gonna be okay and take a moment to just breathe and process what's really going on. Once we're able to just allow that to move through our bodies and process you know, remembering that emotions are actually energy in motion and once we let it kind of move through us, it just gives us space to be able to step back and breathe a little bit. 
The next thing that I do is I try to objectively observe what's going on. Our brains can kind of tell us that we're in a situation where we might not be safe. And so our immediate reaction is to just kind of either freeze up, fight what's going on, or just run away completely. By taking that step back and objectively observing what's going on, it might mean that we need to step away for a moment and then come back with questions to ask or just looking at the bigger picture without all of those emotions and chemicals running through us, telling us that we're not in a place where we feel safe. I know for me personally, having a better understanding of myself and things that have maybe happened in my life have really helped me to be able to kind of distinguish, okay, this is reminding me of a situation I've been in before and actually being able to speak a little bit to that survival system response that's happening inside of us. By doing that, I can actually put words to, oh my gosh, this is reminding me of this situation or this is reminding me of a time in my life where it wasn't safe to be seen, it wasn't safe to speak up about what was going on for me. And so in doing that, it actually seems to alert our nervous system to be like, hey, it's okay, I understand that you see that there's maybe a threat here based on this situation and let's just acknowledge that that's here, let's feel it, let's let those emotions move through us and it's okay. We can just take a breath and we can work out what's really going on here. Now again, I really want to stress that this is not for when we are actually maybe in any kind of physical or emotional danger. This is just for those moments when they're just normal day-to-day external circumstances that may cause a little bit of stress in our systems and we're just trying to kind of not let little things become so big and feel so huge on us. I know for myself personally there's been times in my life where things that might be seemingly small have just stacked up on top of each other and ended up feeling like I've become all of that. That that situation is all that I am, it's all that I think about, I wake up in the middle of the night thinking about it, I can't sleep or rest or relax at all because I'm just so overwhelmed by this thing that I feel like it's all that I am. I found that really speaking truth to things that are happening for me, to people around me, have helped me to understand what's really going on. And it's also helped the person I'm interacting with to kind of have a better understanding of why something might be stressing me out when it's something that they don't feel stressed about. The more that we pay attention to what's going on in our nervous systems, the more that we pay attention to those survival system responses, the more we can start to see, okay, this is day-to-day stuff that's starting to just feel overwhelming all the time. There's always something going on, whether it's in the world at large, whether it's stuff that's just going on in your life that might be a little bit more heightened than normal, or whether it just starts to feel like every day sitting in traffic, dealing with phone calls, dealing with work, dealing with relationships, start to just all feel overwhelming. The fact that we can kind of separate ourselves from that allows us to be able to just be in the world so much easier and not feel so burnt out and overwhelmed all the time. Sometimes when busyness, stress, anxiety and overwhelm have been going on for a really long time, we need to take a step back and take care of ourselves. It's so important that we do this, especially as introverts, empaths and highly sensitive people. But We also really need to take responsibility for how we're kind of dealing with this stuff. We can't help that we have these extra sensitive nervous systems. We can do things to help us manage the smaller external circumstances more. We don't wanna just stop us from being able to show up as who we are. It can sometimes feel like a lot, especially, you know, as we're coming to the end of the year, especially if you have big life stuff happening right now. It's obviously okay to feel that and to know that that's happening. But there are also ways that we can kind of cope with stress on our nervous systems so that it doesn't feel like everything is so huge all the time. Because I've had so many people saying this to me lately, I've actually put together a five day mini course to really help us start to take some of these steps and implement them into our lives. So if you're interested in that, the link will be below that you can sign up for that. As we're coming towards the end of the year, I know it can start to feel like it's just, we just need to wrap up this year and by the start of next year, everything will be all right again. But in my experience, we actually need to deal with how our energy, our nervous systems and our emotions are handling everyday stress 
stresses because it doesn't actually ever go away. There's always new things that are coming up and the better that we can get at handling the little everyday things, the better then we're able to feel overall and it means that we're able to show up, we're able to do stuff that we want to do and we're able to build that momentum whether it's in your business, in your job, you know, just in your family, just showing up in your relationships. So if you're interested in taking some of these tips to the next level and actually implementing them into your life, you can join that five-day mini e-course via the link below or at katherinemckenziesmith.com slash overwhelm. I'd love to hear from you in the comments below if there's something that you've personally found that's really helped you deal with overwhelm or if any of these tips really help you out.